Samuel F. Robinson, your business advisor. This is part one of business trading. Ever pondered over whether Forex or options trading is the better choice for beginners? A rather intriguing question, isn't it? Well, today we're going to unravel this mystery and delve into the world of Forex and options trading. Forex and options trading are two distinct investment strategies, each with their unique set of advantages and disadvantages. The world of Forex trading revolves around the buying and selling of currencies. It's like a global marketplace that never sleeps, open 24 hours a day, providing the opportunity to trade at any given moment. One of the primary advantages of Forex trading is its high liquidity. This means that large volumes of currency can be bought and sold without significantly impacting the market price. Moreover, Forex trading offers higher leverage which can amplify profits. However, remember that while leverage can magnify gains, it can also magnify losses. Therefore, it's crucial to manage risk effectively when trading Forex. When it comes to Forex trading, there are several cons that you should be aware of in order to make informed decisions. Firstly, the market's relatively low volatility can limit the short-term growth potential. In other words, you may not see significant gains in a short period of time due to the market stability. Additionally, Forex trading is susceptible to unexpected political events, such as sudden changes in government policies or economic sanctions, which can significantly affect the value of currencies and lead to losses. This information is not financial advice. To make informed financial decisions, it is recommended to seek guidance from a qualified tax professional. Another disadvantage of Forex trading is that gains are easily tracked and taxed. This means that you'll need to keep detailed records of all your trades and transactions to ensure that you comply with tax regulations. Failure to do so can lead to penalties, fines and legal issues. Additionally, there is a temptation to use extremely high leverage in Forex trading, which can lead to significant losses if the market moves against you. It's important to use leverage responsibly and to manage your risk effectively to avoid losing more money than you can afford. The foreign exchange market, also known as Forex, is considered to have the highest liquidity as compared to any other financial market. This means that investors can easily buy and sell currencies without affecting the market price. The Forex market is less susceptible to volatility shocks, and this is because of the high trading volume. The market is open 24 hours a day, five days a week, which provides ample opportunities for traders to execute their trades at any time of the day. Investors are protected against fraud and theft of funds as the Forex market operates under strict, know-your-customer KYC standards. This means that traders must provide their identity and other relevant information before opening an account to trade. This helps prevent fraudsters from accessing the market and ensures that traders operate under a safe and secure environment. Another advantage of Forex trading is that there are no middleman fees. Forex brokers make their money through the bid-ask spread, which is the difference between the buying and selling price of a currency pair. This spread is usually very small, making Forex trading a cost-effective option for traders. Furthermore, the Forex market has default risk limiters in place, which helps to protect traders from losses. These limiters restrict a trader's ability to take on more risk than they can handle, ensuring that they do not suffer significant losses beyond their means. Overall, Forex trading is a reliable and efficient way to invest in the financial markets. With its high liquidity, fraud protection, low costs, and risk limiters, it offers traders a safe and secure environment to execute their trades. On the other hand, we have options trading, Instead of buying and selling currencies, options traders buy and sell contracts. These contracts give them the right, but not the obligation, to buy or sell an underlying asset at a specific price within a set period. Options trading operates within set market hours, unlike the round-the-clock Forex market. One might argue that this limits trading opportunities. However, it also provides a clear structure and prevents the stress of constant market monitoring. In terms of leverage, options trading tends to offer less than forex trading. 
However, this lower leverage can also mean lower risk, making it a potentially safer choice for beginners. When it comes to liquidity, options trading can sometimes fall short compared to Forex. This is because options trading can be subject to more volatile prices and lower liquidity, especially for less popular contracts. While options trading can be a lucrative investment strategy, it also presents some challenges. One potential disadvantage is that not all losses from options trading are tax deductible. It's important to consult with a tax professional to understand the tax implications of options trading. Another consideration is the relatively low liquidity of options markets compared to more traditional investments. This can make it difficult to buy and sell options at desired prices, potentially limiting profit opportunities. In addition, options trading typically requires a higher level of knowledge and expertise than other types of investing, which can create higher barriers to entry for some investors. Lastly, many options trading platforms charge fixed fees for trading, which can add up quickly and impact overall profitability. It's important to carefully consider these factors and consult with a financial professional before engaging in options trading. Options trading offers several advantages over traditional trading of stocks or other assets. Firstly, options trading provides automatic leverage, which means that an investor can control a large amount of assets with a relatively small investment. This can significantly increase the potential for profit, but it also increases the risk of loss. Another advantage of options trading is the ability to create non-directional and hedging strategies. Non-directional strategies are designed to profit from volatility in the market rather than from a specific price movement in an underlying asset. Hedging strategies, on the other hand, are used to offset potential losses in other investments. Options trading also has the potential for higher return on investment than trading underlying assets directly. This is because options contracts can be purchased at a fraction of the cost of the underlying asset, allowing investors to profit from a small movement in the price of the asset. Finally, options trading requires less capital than trading underlying assets directly. This is because options contracts can be purchased for a fraction of the cost of the underlying asset, allowing investors to control a larger number of assets with a smaller investment. However, it is important to note that options trading also involves higher risk and is not suitable for all investors. So, which one is better for beginners? Well, the answer isn't straightforward. Both Forex and options trading require a certain level of knowledge and experience. They also carry their own level of risk. In a nutshell, Forex trading offers higher liquidity and leverage, operating 24 hours a day. Options trading, while providing less liquidity and leverage, offers a structured trading schedule and potentially lower risk levels. The choice between Forex and options trading ultimately depends on your individual trading goals, risk tolerance and trading knowledge. It's about finding a balance that suits your trading style and ambitions. Remember, whether you choose Forex or options trading, it's crucial to use reputable platforms, have a trading plan, stay focused, maintain discipline, and manage risks effectively. Samuel F. Robinson and his team can guide your business setup. Happy trading. Your business advisor, Samuel F. Robinson. Do you want guidance? Connect at samuelfrobinson.com. Stay tuned for part two, developing a business trading mindset.